Welcome back to round three of the Swiss draft. Uh, we are in the 2-0 bracket. Played against a strange deck in round two, but uh, it was pretty tough to beat, which kudos to our opponent for building uh, an interesting three-color deck. Um, I'm going to keep this. We are on the draw, and uh, the math we did earlier you know, gives us good odds to, to hit our third land. And if we hit our third land, when we hit our third land, this, this is going to be a great hand. Plus, we have a turn two play. Um, Mulligan doesn't get much better than this. So, we are going to keep it. And Cozy Sentinel will do a really good job of blocking if our opponent has, like, you know, like a 2 1 here or something like that. And we hit our land. Perfect. Play well, get rewarded. That's what I like to say. We'll have an interesting turn three decision, though. Is it Sky Spawner? Is it Predator? Cool. You know what? It's probably Sky Spawner into Firebird. Well, we hit our land, so maybe not. We'll see what the opponent does. I think Predator might make most more sense. We are bringing in Rolling Thunder. Oh, are we bringing in Rolling Thunder? All right, let's think about this. Let us think about this. If we play Sky Spawner, we get to attack with Sentinel, but then we take six on the crackback, so I don't really like that. So I think I'm just going to play the... Predator? No, I'll play the Sky Spawner. Sky Spawner is like two damage guaranteed in the air plus Firebird. Hmm, Predator's good with repeated landfall though. Sky Spawner gets us an untap of Nettle Drone. Hmm. I mean, Predator probably just gets double blocked. This is interesting. This is a tough decision. Kozilek -like Sentinel is going to hang back and block, so... We're definitely Firebirding next turn, so it's like, what do I want to be attacking with? I guess I want to be attacking with the Predator. Yeah, we'll just put maximum pressure on. I'll just pass the turn here. opponent doesn't have a very good attack here at all. I mean, I would trade three damage for one of these things, essentially, and I'm not going to trade a Predator off. No attacks. No land drop? Uh, no land drop would be pretty good for us. And then it's a question of, like, what are they holding up? Like a combat trick, or like... Um, you know, like Lithomancer's Focus or um, Gideon's Reproach or something like that. Which means then we probably don't... If our opponent doesn't do anything, I'm not going to play the Firebird. Because it could be like Stasis Snare or something like that. And this way we can just play a land, play get in with Predator and play the Sky Spawner. And then Firebird when, he's, when his shields are down. Well, given that they haven't played a land... I'm going to guess that they don't have one. I mean, maybe they have three colors and they're debating on what to play. Uh, okay, so definitely, ooh, turn against, definitely just attacking with the Predator here and playing the Sky Spawner. Um, Sky Spawner or Nettle Drone? Mm, Sky Spawner. I guess I could have attacked with the Sentinel as well, play the Sky Spawner first, but I think he doesn't block and we just take six on the crack back. So opponent didn't actually do anything. Maybe it's a stasis snare. Okay. They must have had something. I 
Okay, I guess they just missed a land drop and maybe were cursing at their luck or something, but we'll take it. And we didn't show Firebird or Turn Against, so I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, let's bring in the, the Boiling Earth. Cutting Ugin's Insight, because they look like they're a fast deck. So once again, we'll just make that, that swap. Uh, Hedron Archive does a pretty good job of drawing us cards anyway. And I'm going to keep the Stone Waker in, because I don't think there's anything that I want to bring in. Looks good to me. To be fair though, that was a pretty good draw from our part, so uh, it might have been tough for our opponent to beat it. This is decent. We get to go uh, turn three Sky Spawner into turn four like Oracle of Dust or Channeler, whatever we decide. We'll keep this. We have Blighted Cataract as Flood Protection. A two drop would be pretty good. I don't think we played many two drops yet today. Uh, Fire Mantle Mage, you're okay. So we're going to take our beats from the Castigator. Opponent, blue white, I assume, awaken, and with a bunch of tide collars. So we might have to bring in the upheaval. Okay. Little flooded here. This could be a counter spell. I would like to get the um, Oracle of Dust online though. Cool. I'll take my beats from the Castigator and not block. Because Oracle of Dust and Channeler will just do a pretty good job of that. Maybe that's wrong. Maybe I should have blocked. Oh, I really don't... Well, you know what? I'm going to attack with both. And if he's got... I guess he can't have Royal's Retribution. That's five mana, so... Shouldn't really get punished for this. Yeah, okay. Gideon's Reproach. So, Oracle of Dust, I would rather, if I'm going to lose a card, I would rather lose Oracle of Dust rather than Kozilek's Channeler. But if I play Kozilek's Channeler and then draw a 7-drop, then I can just slam that next turn. Hmm. Oracle of Dust blocks really well. No, you know what? We'll do the Channeler. And I will just block the Castigator if he attacks. Like, if he wants to use another Gideon's Reproach, I think I'm okay with that. Especially given that we just play Oracle of Dust next turn. Oh, Smite the Monsters. Okay, so <laughs> Oracle of Dust would have been better, I guess. If we would have if we would have looked at his hand and saw that he had Smite, obviously we play Oracle of Dust, but... <laughs> so... Little unfortunate there, but we're st we're still on pace. Like, you know, we have things to do. Things to do. And I will just block here. No questions asked. Clutch of currents with awaken. Oh boy, actually, we could be in trouble here.
So we lose if he's got another one of those, but I mean, not much I can do about it. Okay. Unfortunately, the Bane can't actually attack. Okay. Removal is very bad for us. Like, if I draw another creature, I might just have to play two creatures. Just to go wide. Okay. Well... Hope for no removal. Or bounce. Either one of those and we're toast. Or spell shrivel. Yeah, okay, we're just toast. Okay, so they did have a spell shrivel. Wow, okay. Um, hmm. Tightening coils, maybe? I don't think so. I mean, Royal Mage's trick could be a thing. Dispel, actually, I like, I don't mind bringing in a dispel. We can get into like a counter war. So let's bring in a dispel and also counters combat tricks, which I assume they have a lot of. Uh, Stone Waker. Stone Waker does block things. Slide Runners are better. I'll uh, cut the Stone Waker. Touch of the Void, Stone Fury, Channeler. I mean, it's not the greatest, but we'll keep it. Really want to see a 2 or 3 drop. But we have removal in two forms. And we have a nettle drone, so that's pretty good. Oh, I should have run in the upheaval, actually. So I'll take my three from the Castigator. Opponent holds up mana here, then. Okay, so opponent's holding up uh, combat trick. So that means that I am not in a rush. So I am just going to deal one and then touch the void this thing and not attack. Yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to reward him for holding up mana. So the question is here: Do I play the looming spires, or does that gain value later? I think it gains value later. So I'm just going to play an island and pass. Ah, so we got punished. So, yeah, that's, uh, that's, uh, that's interesting, actually, because if they did have a combat trick now, we don't even really know. They could have just been holding up Anticipate, but... Hmm... So here I'm going to attack and just see if I can bait out a counter spell, or not a counter, a uh, combat trick so I can land the channeler. Yeah, okay, so we knew it, he had both.
we're in a kind of not so great spot, but hmm. Royals retribution. Retribution one time, please, dealer. Thank you. Okay. So opponent just had stone nothing to do. Maybe they held up a counter spell there. So that thing is getting absolutely crushed. Unfortunately, we can't really beat the Breaker of Armies. But he is only on six mana, so... And we get to draw some cards. So it's going to come down to, does he draw land? And he does not. Turn again, actually. <laughs> uh, that's pretty good. So, we'll just attack. When it goes to five, uh, play a slide runner. Doesn't get countered. Play a mist intruder, maybe gets countered. Pass the turn. I like where we're at now. Adverse conditions, cool. A little bit of a fog action here. So, Breaker of Armies, turn against for the win. Here it comes. Yup. <laughs> This is uh, this reminds me of the pre-release. I was playing against uh, an opponent who was kind of making me a little bit salty. His attitude was kind of just like, "Oh, I'm so much better than you guys at the end of this game," and he's kind of like a young punk. And he basically did the same thing where he like resolved a breaker of armies, and I had like a bunch of creatures that couldn't attack through it. Um, and then I just said, "Turn against, swing for twelve or whatever," and it was pretty fun. Actually, it's funny, though, because even if he attacks in, like, we still get him. Like, he has to have another play in his hand, but... Anyway, it felt good. It feels good to do that. Turn against on a Breaker of Armies is... You know, it's probably a flavor loss, given the art on the card, but... It's a lot of fun. Cool, well, thanks for hanging out, everybody. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave comments in the section below. Um... I'll come back and, and comment on some things. We'll comment on some, some mispicks. We'll comment on some misplays. Uh, we'll comment on some like interesting plays and some interesting lines, especially when it comes to the mulligans. Um, and if you, like, if you like what I'm doing, you can come check me out on Twitch. The link will also be in the section below. Um, but hopefully you guys enjoy this and I can come back and do this again for you. Uh, I'd really like to. I really like producing this kind of content. And um, I think it improves my game and hopefully it improves yours as well. So... Once again, this is Dave for Seems Good, signing off.